Controversy out there, ladies and gentlemen. Brad Sherman, a derelict Democrat congressman from California, had a town hall meeting the other day, and a bunch of in, in, his constituents are more informed than he was. He's a Democrat, and they started asking about the new Black Panther Party and voter intimidation, and he didn't know anything about it, and he started putting down... Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, oh, by the way, George Steinbrenner also, as I have done, has left New York. George Steinbrenner will probably be buried in Florida. Oh, yes, Tampa was his home, not New York. Anyway, so this Brad Sherman guy getting beat up by his constituents, and he reacts now. You people are stupid. You're dumb. I don't want to hear. Who do you think you're talking? I'm a member of Congress. Here's the follow-up. A California congressman who drew shouts of disbelief at a town hall meeting when he said he was unaware of the voter intimidation case involving a new Black Panther Party explained the reason he hadn't heard about the story was because his news sources didn't cover it. Exactly right. The reason why these dunces at network television, AP, Yahoo News, everywhere else, think I made an original comment when calling George Steinbrenner a cracker, also don't know about King Samir Shabazz, new Black Panther voter intimidation case, 2008 Philadelphia, suggesting that white cracker babies be killed. They're not up to speed on uh, uh, Malik Zulu Shabazz, the chairman, Grand Poobah, whatever, head potentate of the new Black Panther Party, referring to crackers constantly. And so, unable to place my comments in context, and unwilling to, even if they were aware of the context, they create this firestorm, which just illustrates what a great show it was yesterday. Brad Sherman, in a written statement released late yesterday, accused Fox News of launching attacks on him for showing video of his town hall meeting. He said he would soon send a letter to the Attorney General, Eric Holder, regarding the incident and the importance of allegations of voter intimidation, but said the major sources of information which I rely upon did not mention the issue. He didn't know about the voter intimidation case in Philadelphia. He also offered an excuse for missing the news. None of the media he reads covered it. While it's possible that our review missed something, it can be said that less than one page per 50,000 from the above sources deals with the issue. In contrast, Fox News covered the issue repeatedly. Sherman listed the L.A. Times, the Los Angeles Daily News, the Economist, Newsweek, Congressional Quarterly, the National Journal, said he found only one mention of the Black Panther case in all of those publications. Exactly right. Exactly right. Here's Brad Sherman, by the way, the hapless Democrat from California who had never heard of the new Black Panther Party. This is last Sunday in Reseda, California, during a town hall meeting. This is the nuts and bolts of the whole point. I am extremely sure that we do not have a policy at the Department of Justice of never prosecuting a black defendant who is white. may say that somewhere on the internet, but that doesn't mean it's true. Uh, as to the Black Panther Party, I'm simply not aware of that case. They're booing him now. They're booing him now. This was last Sunday. So he comes out yesterday and says, well, I, I, I never heard of this case because the, the media I look at, it was never reported. Now, we know this because J. Christian Adams, the line, one of the line attorneys prosecuting the new Black Panthers, among them King Samir Shabazz, he of killing white cracker babies fame, uh, said that it was a slam dunk case. And we know it's a slam dunk case because we've seen the video of the voter intimidation in Philadelphia in 2008. Now, J. Christian Adams has not just appeared on Fox News and other talk radio outlets. He has testified before the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights, which is a governmental panel. And the Democrat Congressman Brad Sherman, the hapless Brad Sherman from California, did not even know that J. Christian Adams had said what he had said, did not know that he resigned, did not know that he was testifying before the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights, pointing all this out. It was J. Christian Adams, the whistleblower, who said he was told this Department of Justice is not going to pursue black defendants. In addition to that, 
He pointed out he was also told that Section 8 of the Motor Voter Law was not going to be pursued. That, that requires voter registration rolls to be purged of the dead, the duplicates, people who moved out of state. He was told by a female Department of Justice lawyer, no, 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 we're, we're, we're for inclusion here, not exclusion. We're not going to get rid of dead people and people have moved from the voter room. So he said, what the hell am I doing here? He quit. And private practice is now a, uh, a blogger. If you go to Google News and search New Black Panthers, you get 222 results. Go check Rush Limbaugh, George Steinbrenner, and see how many hundreds of thousands you get. I'm serious. Do Rush Limbaugh, Steinbrenner, Cracker, whatever, whatever search term you want to use. See how many hits you get, how many different results. Lindsay, 151,000. HR just did it. 151,000. You go to Google News and search Limbaugh, Steinbrenner, Cracker. 151,000 different stories about it. The new Black Panther Party. 222 stories. Searching Google News. In less than one second, a Lindsay Lohan search produces 16,100 results. I had media calling me today, well, emailing, would you like to clarify your remarks? I said, what? Clarify what? Would you like to clarify the way you're reporting this? Did you actually hear me say any of this? Okay, so now, now that Brad Sherman, the hapless Brad Sherman from California, is aware that the race-based policies of the Department of Justice are not something on the Internet, but is based in sworn, under oath testimony, I assume that Brad Sherman, Democrat California, will think it's just as crazy as if it came off the internet and Brad Sherman will speak out against Department of Justice policy now. I th now that he knows it's true, just because his media didn't report it, but now he knows sworn testimony. The new Black Panther case was trashed because the DOJ does not want to pursue black defendants. I'm sure he'll demand action on this now as an American, as a Democrat, as a member of Congress. In fact, Brad Sherman has announced that he's going to write a stiff letter, whatever that is, to Eric Holder. A LeBron James search in less than one second on Google produces 24,500 results. The New Black Panthers, 222 results. What was the number you got for me, Steinbrenner and Rush Limbaugh, Steinbrenner, Cracker, 151,000. Ten times the hits of Lindsay Lohan. Five times that of LeBron James. Welcome. Welcome to the new America. Brad Sherman, we'll wait to read your stiff letter to Eric Holder. Now that you know what your media is failing to tell you, back after...